Prana. The Spiritual Life Force. A reference of Bazi Francis ideologies. The message that I'm about to share with you today is a mystical activation that summon and activate an ancient energy to bring enlightenment and healing to your life. So please pay close attention to me, I promise you I won't waste your time. Now listen, the sun and moon hold great powers that emerges great things only if you know its significance. Each being has an energy chakra system that serves as a portal for universal energy. These chakras are. 1. The root chakra, also known as Muladhara. The root chakra is located at the base of the spine and this chakra is responsible for the stability and balance of your body. The base of the spine holds everything above and beneath including your legs and arms. It is called the root because it is the foundation of our stability. Once affected, you'll become unstable just like I was during the early stages of my awakening. I got affected with cervical spondylosis which is the disease of the spine, this affected my stability so much that I couldn't sit nor stand for quite some time. But the positive part of the root chakra in spirituality is that, during your awakening process it activates this cosmic consciousness within you that questions everything around you. It gives you this awareness that God is within you and that inner knowing alone brings peace of mind. 2. The Sacral Chakra, also known as Svadhisthana, the Sacral Chakra is located just beneath the navel region of your stomach, and it's responsible for free flow the creativity and innovative ideas that you're to birth into reality in this lifetime. In other words, this chakra governs your work ethic and once it's affected negatively, you'll have less drive to work creatively with your business. This is so important to your existence because it unites everything. 3. The Solar Plexus Chakra, also known Manipura. The solar plexus is your self-confidence in yourself and this is what makes you feel confident in your own skin without the validation of others. You feel confident to chase your dreams persistently without hesitation. It also governs your something everyone needs to stay here on earth and that's what I call abundance. Abundance could be manifested in forms like wealth, good health, relationships etc. Once it's affected, you become weak and scared to approach people to express yourself freely. You become less motivated in your business and everything becomes a thing of fear for you. 4. The Heart Chakra, also known as Anaheta. The Heart Chakra governs the heart and its rules are love and emotional body. This is where we freely express true love, kindness, compassion without no fear or hatred in it. Now everything that is good also has bad too. If your heart is blocked, you are prone to hate, deceit, envy, jealousy and unnecessary competition for success, power and attention. 5. The Throat Chakra, also known Vishuddha. The throat rules the communication aspect of our lives. Now understand that we are children of light, and we the children of light are obligated to speak our truth and express this truth with no fear. When the devil attacks a child of light he attacks first with fear and doubt. When we are in this illusion we are subjected to the things of the enemy which is the total opposite of what God is. Satan is hate, envy, pride, jealousy etc. He wants to be God and can never be God. There is only one supreme God and that is Elohim the creator of all things. 6. The third eye chakra, also known Anya. The third eye is for our spiritual illumination and visions. This is where we get and see in the spirit. The illumination that God gives through visions is shown to us through dreams and it's powered through our third eye and this is located at your forehead, just above the eyebrows. When your third eye is blocked, you can't see through illusions and deceit of the enemy. You can't see people true intentions because you're blocked from it. 7. The Crown Chakra, also known as Sahasrara. The Crown Chakra is our direct connection to the creator of our soul. This is a bridge between you and God and when it's activated, you have the mind and consciousness of God. This is where you get the sixth sense which is the inner knowing or intuition. This is where you listen and hear God speak to you, sometimes it could be like you know the outcome of something even before it happens and it's amazing. So when this crown is blocked, it leads to brain fogs and mental blockages of all kinds. It automatically makes you create this self-imposed prison within you and you will remain in victim mentality. Several practices of spirituality created this vast knowledge of the human body. According to Hinduism, there are four petals of energy in the human body and there are seven chakras that align themselves with these elements of creation, these elements are. 1. Earth, representing the north. 2. Fire, representing the south. 3. Air, representing the east. 4. Water, representing the west. This evidence clearly shows us that the word was made flesh. That God truly formed man in his own image and likeness, his only son Jesus came into this human body and became man. So when Jesus died at the age of 33, he came to redeem you and I from this dying world. He came so that we would have life and have it in abundance. He came to die so that we won't have to die again but to have life and have it in abundance. This is Spiritual Rebirth and Human Anatomy Podcast. My name is Bazzi Francis.